Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So this evening we are heading to home in Manchester to see Kathy and Stella solve a murder. Um, so we've never been to this theatre before, really looking forward to seeing the show. I think we paid about 25, 27 pounds each for these tickets. We're sat in the stalls, um, I think quite near the front from what I remember. So I'm really looking forward to the show, I've heard good things about it. It should be a good evening. So yeah, I'll get back to you now once we're on the way. I think we're gonna go get food first. I'm just gonna go to a Weather Spoons or something. So yeah, I'll get back to you now once we're on our way. Lawrence is just getting our tram tickets. We've got three minutes till the tram. What time is it? It's just two minutes past five, so it's not too bad. Should get there for half five. Show starts at half seven. I'm hoping to get to bed for seven. We'll see. See how long it takes to get food. You can keep it. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we've got nothing to lose You're looking so old So we've just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square If we were going straight to the theatre we would have got off at Dean's Gate we're gonna go get some food there, so we've got up at St. Peter's Square. I'm gonna go get some food at Paramount, and then we'll either get the tram back up to Dean's Gate or we'll just walk. We'll see how we feel and how much time we've got. Yeah, just gonna head up here now to Paramount. Okay, so this is where we're going. Just in here, this pub here. It's just a weather spoon, so it's quite cheap and cheap. We found a table, it is quite busy. We managed to find a table. But our drinks have arrived. I went for a Diet Coke as usual. Lawrence went for a cup of it. I'm just waiting for the food. I obviously went for the same thing I always get when I go here. And Lawrence, after half an hour of looking through the menu, went for the same thing that he always gets as well. It was seven. It was five minutes. Mm. It, felt, it, felt like, it felt like half an hour. Well, that's a waste of four. <laughs> so my food has arrived as usual. Chicken burger, chips. Lauren's food has not arrived yet. I would have thought they would have brought them together since they're both burgers, but no, Lauren's still waiting. <laughs> There we go, there's Lawrence's food. He got his ultimate burger, which he always gets. <laughs> so we've finished our meal now. We've just walked up to Dean's Gate. So this is where you'd be if you got off the tram. And I'll show you how to get to the theatre from here as if you were getting off the tram at Dean's Gate. Dean's Gate's tram station just over there. there. So if you walk up to here, this is how you get to the theatre. So we've just arrived this is the theater here so they do have like a restaurant in here they have a cafe they have bars so it's not just a theater yeah this is the first time we've actually come to here so here it is
does 8 fifty. So they've also got a cinema in here. Um, they've got bars, they've got shops. Um, a lot that goes on here like I said there's a bar over here cafe bar area I've lost Lauren so I need to go find them so there's actually a little bit of an art gallery in here as well so there's some nice pieces of art there's some really nice pieces of art in here as well so this is some of the art that's in here at the minute so because we're really really early that's a, a little look a lot of bird pictures This thing here is supposed to be art. Depends what you call art, doesn't it? <laughs> and this here is supposed to be art, but questionable. Head upstairs because we think there's a cafe upstairs and it's really busy down there because I think it's press night, isn't it? There's people taking pictures and there's, yeah, I think it's press night. There we go. This must be the restaurant then. Is this the restaurant or the cafe? Then no, this is the restaurant, isn't it? So yeah, I think this is the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What? We might actually not get a Caesar chair. There's been an emergency and it's all been evacuated. Mm -hmm. So it's just starting half an hour. It's supposed to start, yeah, ain't it? Yeah, half so, seven, so. Uh, I can see it getting cancelled unless it gets sorted out quick. We'll have to see. Yeah, it looks like everyone's going back in now, so fingers crossed the show can still go on. So we're in door A because we're seat three and four. Row E, seat three and four. So we will be in this way, but it's not open yet. Okay, so we're on row E, seat three. Interval. I'm really enjoying it about you, Lawrence. I'm enjoying it. There's some bits I'm not. One well, bit that was all for me that I found a bit uh, slow down too much or not makes sense to me. Alright, I'm really enjoying I'm, I'm it. I'm really on that, I'm enjoying it's, it. It's really funny. I'm really enjoying the story. I'm liking the I'm, jokes, I'm, really, I'm liking the Northern reference. Yeah, I'm really into like, um, what do we call it, true crime and murders, aren't I? Because I'm yeah. always well, watching watched. them documentaries. I'm so, watch, well, you can watch a program of watch while you watch. So this is a perfect sort of musical for me. So I'm really, really enjoying it. Can't wait for the second half now. About you? Looking forward to the second half? It's just so not playing boring. It's just, <laughs> it's just long tired. Day. Busy. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the second half. I'm seeing where this goes. Yeah. Okay, so this show has finished now. Really enjoyed it. What do you think, Lawrence? Yeah, quite enjoyed that. Yeah, so we've really enjoyed that. It was really, really good. I'll give you a full review later. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. So we're now at Deansgate tram station because this is just across the road from the theatre, so it's not far. We've only got three minutes to wait for the tram. No, one minute. Oh, it still says three minutes. Three minutes to wait for the tram. Hi, it is now the next day. Didn't have a chance to um, review the show last night when we got back from seeing Kathy and Stella. So I thought I'd do it this morning. 
Um, Lauren sent here this morning, so I'm just going to review it myself. But he really loved the show. He thought it was really good. Um, so obviously went to see Kathy and Stella solves a murder at home in Manchester. Now it's a venue that I only just realised existed about a year ago. And this was actually our first visit to home in Manchester. Which sounds crazy considering how much me and Lawrence love theatre and the fact that we live in Manchester. Um, so we're definitely going to need to try and go there more often. It's a lovely venue as well. It's really nice. It's quite modern. It only opened in 2015. So it's quite a modern venue and it's got a few things inside there. I think I showed you they had sort of like an art gallery going on in there. I think that had just opened. Um, I think it was like it's press opening. I thought it was the press opening for the musical, but it wasn't. It was for the gallery. Um, so they have that there. There's like a cafe and a bars in there. There's also a cinema in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice venue with lots going on. So for this show, we were sat in the stalls on row E, seats three and four, and our view was excellent from those seats. We paid, I think, £32 each for those seats, so a bit more than we usually like to pay. Like I said, our budget is usually around £25, but we really wanted to see this show, and I wanted to have a good view, so I thought we'd splash out a bit and go for the bit more expensive seats. Um, and I'm glad we did because we had a great view and I really enjoyed it. However, because the, because the venue is quite small, I think you probably will get quite a good view from wherever you sit. So if I went again, I probably wouldn't mind sitting a bit further back. Um, but where we sat was a really good view. Uh, there was no merch for the show. And as far as I was aware, there was no programmes. I didn't see anyone selling programmes anyway. Um, so there was no programme for the show. But I think... All the information is on the website so if you go on the website it's got all the cast lists and everything on there so I can show you that on my phone later. So if you don't know anything about the musical Kathy and Stella Solves a Murder it started off at um, Edinburgh Fringe I think in 2022 it was first on there and it also just appeared there this year at this year's Edinburgh Fringe and apparently this version the version that's on at home at the minute is a longer version of uh, what they showed at Fringe. It's supposed to be, um, it's a two act show now where I think at Fringe it was only a one act show. So it's now a two act show with an interval. So the total runtime of the show is two hours and 20 minutes. And that includes a 20 minute interval. So Kathy and Stella Souls and Murder tells the story of best friends, Kathy and Stella. They live in Beverly in Hull and they met at primary school where they bonded over their love of true crime. Now the pair host a true crime podcast together in Kathy's mum's garage and they dream of making it big in the true crime podcast world. So when their favourite true crime author Felicia Taylor comes to Hull to promote her book um, they find out that she is gonna host a podcast series and she needs podcasters to join um this podcast series so they arrange to meet with her and tell her about their podcast uh, but when they do she's not impressed with their podcast and she says that they need to find a unique selling point a unique usp if they want to make it big in the podcast world so obviously they're disappointed with this, they go back home and then later they end up being called to the police station and find out that Felicia Taylor has been murdered and that they are two of the last people to see her alive. So they realise that this could be their unique selling point as they were the two, one, some of the two last people to see her alive. They're now part of this murder story and they realised that this could obviously be their unique sign point for their podcast and that they could try and solve this crime in real time and this could really help their podcast get big. So they set about trying to crack the case of Felicia's murder in the hopes that it will increase their views on their podcast and they can become true crime podcast stars. 
So that is basically the story of Kathy and Stella Solves a Murder and I really enjoyed it. The show is so funny, it's so witty, it's so well, well written, um, there's so much humour in there, there's a bit of tongue in cheek humour in there as well and I just thought it was so good. It's not like anything I've seen before. There is dialogue in the show. It's not all sung through, but there's a lot of singing. A lot of the songs are there to tell the story and move the story along. So there's not um, that many like really catchy standout songs. A lot of them are to move this show along um, rather than dialogue. And yeah, there are some really catchy songs in there though. Um, Kathy and Stella's Murder Podcast, that's a great song. Another great song is Part of the Story. That's another really catchy one. And then there's some more ballad type ones like The Approval of Strangers and If I Didn't Have You. So there's some good songs in there and some, like I said, are really catchy and others just sort of are there to move the story along. Set wise, the set was quite simple, but I think really effective. I actually really enjoyed the set. So you start out, um, it's set up as the garage where they film their podcast. Um, the band is actually at the sides of the set, so they've actually quite cleverly hidden at the sides of like the garage set. On the back wall there's like a big clue board and as you move to different scenes uh, they use a lot of props and push on uh, set pieces. So you are transported to a police interview room, you're taken to a bar and they create this bar by pushing the sideboards together and creating this bar area. Um, you're also even taken to a mortuary uh, and they wheel on this morgue table prop set with bodies and it's actually really clever the way to do it. The set was really cleverly done. Um, they even have this big Murdercon sign that comes down when they go to Murdercon and yeah I just really enjoyed the set. I thought the set was really really good. For a show that's just come from the Edinburgh Fringe with very little set I thought this set was was excellently done and I think it, it had a lot more set than I thought it was going to have and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. So the show has seven cast members and one offstage swing. The two leads are Bronte Barr who plays uh, Kathy and Rebecca Hines who plays Stella. And I thought they were perfectly cast for these roles. They work so well together. You really believe in their friendship and the two of them seem to be able to bounce off each other really well. Um, they're both hilarious together and they just seem to have this great on stage chemistry and you just really believe in their friendship. I thought Bronte as Kathy was excellent and I think she was really able to get you to connect with the character and also empathise with her as well and she also has a great voice. Um, Kathy and Stella do a, a lot of singing in this, they seem to be singing constantly and both Bronte and Rebecca have amazing voices and yeah I just thought they were really well cast for these roles. So Rebecca Hines as Stella was so funny she was absolutely hilarious her comedy timing is just perfect and her facial expressions alone were just hilarious and um she's also got a really really good voice her voice on the song approval of strangers was amazing really loved her voice in that song for she was great so then we have jody jacobs and she played a number of roles um she played it was detective inspector shaw and she played Felicia Turner as well as Felicia's sister and brother so she played a number of roles and she was able to slip into these roles seamlessly and they were quite different some of the roles as well and I just thought she did such a good job of playing all these different parts um, and I thought she was a real presence on stage as well um, and she had a great voice, she was quite a powerhouse as well in some of the songs that she had to sing and I just thought she was great, I thought she was really good, again really funny and yeah I thought she always had a great presence on stage. So we then had TJ Lloyd and he played again a number of characters, characters were very different from each other as well, he played the really jolly mortuary technician uh, who's called Justin, um, he played 
a kind of evilly sort of character who was a suspect for the murders um, and he also played Kathy's mum as well so three very different roles again he slipped into his role seamlessly and he was really good I thought he was excellent really enjoyed his portrayal of all his characters and then we had Imelda Warren Green she played Erica who is also a mortuary technician and a super fan of Kathy and Stella's she was hilarious like her physical comedy her movements and her facial expressions were so funny and she got a lot of laughs from the audience uh, she was absolutely hilarious she was really really good as that character and I really enjoyed her performance and then they also had two ensemble members which did the dancing and some of the backing vocals and stuff as well so I'll just quickly show you the cast list on the website because like I said there was no program so I'll just quickly show you on there just so you can see who the cast were and then I'll tell you what I thought of the show okay so if you go onto the Kathy and Stella sold a murder website and you scroll down you have a bit of information about the show um, you have this where you can book to see the show and then you have your cast biographies so playing Kathy is Bronte Bob and if you click on her face it takes you to her biography and tells you more about her so um, she's recently played Catherine in Newsies at the Troubadour Theatre in London so that is the uh, latest production that she's been in also tells you some more but I'm not going to go through all of them then we have Rebecca Hines a Stella and her recent most recent production is she's played she'd been in Oklahoma at the Young Vic in the West End then you have Mel Imelda Warren Green playing Erica and she's played Zoe in Public the musical. And you have Jodie Jacobs as Felicia. Um, she also played uh, DC Shaw and Felicia's sister and brother. So she's played, so she's been in Last Easter at Orange Tree Theatre. Um, she's been in Roger and Hamstein's Cinderella at the Cadogan Hall. She's also been in Rock of Ages, uh, the, an original West End cast. Uh, so that's just a few things that she's been in. Then we have TJ Lloyd who played Justin. Uh, he also played one of the suspects in the murder and also Kathy's mum. So he's been in Dick Whittington at the Nottingham Playhouse. Uh, he played Salt and Pepper in Aladdin at the Loughborough Town Hall. Uh, and yeah, there's a few things that he's been in. And then as your ensemble and Justin cover, you have Jacob Coley. Uh, so some things he's done, he's been the Wicked Stepmother in Cinderella. Um, he's been in the ensemble in Camelot in concert. Uh, then we have Chelsea Hall, who is the off stage swing. So her theatre credits include the leading role of Bridget in Bring It On the Musical UK Tour. Um, oh, actually, I remember her being in that, actually. I was hoping to see her in that, but it got cancelled before it got to Manchester. Um, so, yeah, do you remember her being in that, actually? And then your other ensemble, her swing member, is Sarah Pearson. And, oh, so this isn't working. Hers doesn't seem to be working, so I can't tell you what she's been in, but there you go. And then here you've got the creatives, uh, producers, and then you've got some videos, and you can also listen to some of the music, and then you've got some photos as well. 
So if you want to know any, uh, find out any more information about the show, I will link uh, this website down below and you can take a look for yourselves. So overall, I really enjoyed Caffeine Stella Silver Murder. Um, I think I said in the video, I'm really into true crime. I love watching true crime documentaries. I'm not a podcast person, I never listen to podcasts, but I love true crime documentaries i'm always watching them so this was a great musical for me i loved the story i thought it was really fun and really interesting um and i thought the music was good and i thought the cast were absolutely amazing absolutely loved it um, i think the thing that makes it really good was definitely the chemistry between um kath kathy and stella um the two leads played that amazingly and it was just, it's such a good show. I highly recommend it. I gave it five stars. I absolutely loved it. I would love to go back and see that, see it again. It is on at home in Manchester until the 21st of October. So there is still time to go and get tickets and see it. Um, I'd love to see it again. I just don't think I'm going to get a chance. October is quite busy. We're doing stuff for the kids and stuff. So I don't think I'm going to have time to go back and see it again. But I would love to see this show again. It's excellent. I'm just really glad that it came to Manchester and I got the chance to see it. Um, so yeah, if you're in living near Manchester and you can get down and see it, definitely come and see it while you can because it is a great, great show. I've tried to convince mum and dad to go and see it because I think they'd like it. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great, it's a really good show. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video vlog and review. Um, if you do enjoy these sort of videos, I do loads of them on this channel. Um, I've got a few coming up. I've got the Drifted Girls coming up. I still, I still have my West End ones to do. I am getting to them. Um, I've got Moulin Rouge, Wicked, um, Matilda, Tina Turner and Book of Mormon so they will be coming very very soon I'm just starting to edit them so if you'd like to see any of those then do subscribe and hit the notification bell you'll be notified as soon as those go up and yeah like I said I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon bye